ladies and gentlemen of Asteroid Fight Club. I am officially on vacation, but I thought I would put out one video before I go off the grid for a couple days. Two things to note. One, I made a badass edited video. It'll be the video before this one, talking about what will happen in 2021, because some people think the year started on March 20th. And note number two, the crazy way Thor News works is I depend on y'all's contributions. Like I do the very best I can every single month and that hope it returns back to me. After eight years of doing Thor News, and I haven't taken a vacation since 2017, so this will be my first one. So if you'd like to send me a contribution through snail mail, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Patron, for a margarita, a candy bar, you know, burritos, me to go buy a new shirt, for whatever reason, I'll gladly accept it. Because this is my pre-hurricane season vacation. And thank you very much to David, Maurice, Paula, Alvin, and Lisa, Asteroid Fight Club, the Texas Angel, and everybody else out there. George, who was awesome and cool, and Asteroid Fight Club, I appreciate y'all. Now, I have been mentioning for over a month that the 23rd through the 26th would probably be the worst energy period for us. And so, A, you know, I said the other day, be on the lookout for more mass shootings, unfortunately. Those are making a return. I at least appreciate the lockdown because lockdown shut down mass shootings. And then we were getting hit by solar storms. And those usually take about three days to show up in earthquakes and volcano activity. And so the big ones hit on March 20th. So we'll be on the lookout for them. You know, the next week we're definitely on full volcano and earthquake alert. Now remember, when the sun acts crazy, people act crazy. And the weather acts crazy. So expect a lot of that. So we have two coronal mass ejections that have happened as solar activity is definitely picking up as we get closer to a solar maximum, which is like still three or four years away. We have two sunspots on the sun. Uh, we have a coronal mass ejection impact possible today. And so, yeah, things are going to get wild, man. Clear and present potential dangers that are in your face. The Gulf Coast is no stranger to heavy rain, especially during hurricane season. Well, storms today pose a risk for flood. The threat continues tomorrow, and Thursday is the big danger day of the week, which is like the 26th, 25th. But yeah, this is Wednesday, the 24th, and then this would be Thursday, the 25th. And so they just upgraded the tornado systems from last week to 53. I said there were 53 tornadoes last week, and so we'll be on the lookout for a big surge in tornadoes and severe weather for Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, and Arkansas, Louisiana. So, you know, stay weather aware. Like I said, the 23rd through the 26th are, hey, it's 11-11, make a wish. Okay. In good news for hurricane season, it looks like the atmospheric defense team and prayer warriors are continuing to separate the low system from the precipitation with sheer and dry air, which is what happened with this system that was off the Carolina coast yesterday. Let's hope that trend continues through hurricane season, but prepare for the worst and pray for the best. When I, get do, when I do get back from vacation and we will be flat into Aquarius season, I definitely think we'll be talking about UFOs and new tech a whole lot more. Whoa, Brady, who always does a great job letting us know that this 55 to 70 knot winds in the low level jet will get it done on Thursday. And for example, comparison, last week the thing that spun up 50 tornadoes had 40 to 55 knots. So this will be a stronger storm. Forecasters are concerned about a brief but intense period of winds across Southern California that could lead to multiple hazards across the drought-stricken landscape. Talking blowing wind, driving difficult driving conditions, and elevated fire risk combined with 40 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts. And hey man, I ain't gotta tell you, the volcano situation has been super intense in 2021. And definitely be on the lookout for dirty haboobs because it has been a very dusty march. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, know what I mean, know what I mean? 
And so the next like three days are going to be injected with Mars and Pluto energy in a square. And so don't argue with people, man, you know, just try to avoid if you have a passion issue, if everybody's yelling and screaming about stuff, nobody's going to be listening. So just save yourself some um, peace of mind. Happy birthday, Captain Kirk. Can you guess what volcano this is? If you guessed Fuego, you guessed correctly. And that is in Guatemala, like Pacaya, Fuego, Public Tapel. have been going off crazy. Edna's been going off crazy. Iceland is now fully lit. The volcano in Alaska is lit. So is Kalui Uewau. And then Nicaragua. Like, yeah, dude, we have activity. See this down kind of by the Caribbean. All right, we're looking at the precipitation over the next 48 hours. You can see rain moving out and over. And that'll have some tornadic components to it. And then you see a bunch of snow diving down and making it to the edge of Texas and then turning into rain. All right. Have I mentioned I'm taking spring break contributions? Excellent. I would like to get two strawberry daiquiris with whipped cream as I'm a list of things to do. This is the tornado danger chart for Thursday. And the stripes, the claw marks are like the worst areas possible. I may go live with some goofy chatty videos during the week, but we'll see. Halo CME, it's just a B-class flare, but AR... 12 8 10 hosted an eruptive flare if not explosive stereo chronograph images confirm a cme whose south flank may glance earth around the 26th yeah i hope we make it back from vacation safely say some prayers for me i'll say some prayers for you but remember empires fall during solar minimums and rise during solar maximums so things should continually improve that's a theory anyway. Though we should definitely be ready for volcanic activity increasing over the next two or three years due to the gas giants being on the same side of the sun. Here, we're looking at the new active earthquake. I mean, I'm sorry, volcano in Iceland. Teamwork makes the dream work. And I don't think anger, hate, and blame are going to get us to where we need to be. You know what I'm saying? There's your tornado danger again. Australia is getting hit super duper duper hard by rains and flooding right now. And so we are about to enter flood season for the United States as well. It's that pulse, man. It's like we have a star inside of our planet and it pulses in congruence with our sun. I think that's my theory anyways. Yeah, we'll watch winter battle summer for this for through april probably though i don't think texas is gonna have any more big freezes bro you know it has been super duper awesome the uh auroras rayon elizine bringing us the northern lights from the northernmost church in the european union yeah a day ago more than eighteen thousand residents were evacuated as flash flooding swept through parts of new south wales australia in an attempt to get earthlings to listen and straighten up their act, a bunch of birds got together to form one big super bird to say, hey, chill out, cool down, calm down, and let's take better care of the planet and each other. This is the volcano in Guatemala, Pacaya. It is super active, along with Papacatepal and Fuego. And a bunch of other, over 100, I believe, volcanoes around Earth. And they are increasing in activity. So be prepared for it to keep on getting wilder, buddy. But hey, Asteroid Fight Club, we're used to this shiz. Hey, Floridians, are you ready? Mike's weather page. High pressure moving over Florida at the end of the week and weekend. 80s to 90s are coming in with a bang. I hope you guys are ready. All right, I've done my best job I could. Uh, definitely during the last year and in, for eight years to keep everybody informed and updated. And so if you'd like to reward me with a contribution, I would super duper appreciate it. And if somehow somebody sent me a spring break surprise uh, contribution big enough to where I could buy a whole new laptop, that would be great because I need it. And that's like my main Batman device to put out videos. 
Yeah, but we'll, I'll try and figure that solution out. Anyway, everybody have a super duper great week. And the good news is that April is supposed to be better than March. And so, dang, we had a rough year. And let's get ready to try and have an excellent and awesome 4th of July. Texas just opened up vaccines for all adults starting next Wednesday. And so, yeah, we are in position to have a really great summer if we choose to. But it is definitely like a battle between, you know, positive and negative. And so let's try and stay positive and do what we can to make the world a better place. God bless everyone. Stay cool. I love y'all. Talk to y'all soon. May the force be with you always and let us live long and prosper together.